mushrooms, they're wild things. They can be as small as the head of a pin or massive, colossal superstructures of thousands of organisms that have been surviving for thousands of years, over thousands of acres. These tiny capped curiosities can be amazingly delicious or incredibly deadly. Raw forces of nature that humans have studied and consumed for millennia and yet we still find new fascinations about them each and every year, practically every single day. They could hold the cure for cancer, for pollution, they could save the very foundations of the earth as we know it and yet somehow we've managed to put them under our control. Hey man, I'm just uh, programming knots. Oh. I mean, that's cool too. That's pretty cool. All right, everybody, so you guessed it. Today we're talking about control. If you've been following along with Mela and all of its developments, you've been seeing how it's coming along, all the different hardware. And today we're talking about the new improved control unit. Steven, tell us about this thing. Sure, Colin. So the version 1.5 of Mela that we sent out to the council uh, we sent them a Wi-Fi control uh, so they could connect up on their smartphone, they could see what was going on inside of Mela. Uh, and some of the feedback that they gave us was that it was kind of hard to get it connected. Uh, and they didn't really use the app too much. All they really cared about was how well their mushrooms were doing. Uh, so we were trying to make that process easier, trying to make Mela easier to control. So we came out with what we're calling our more simplified control. This has uh, just a few knobs and a few switches. Uh, so you can directly control Mela straight from the unit. So you don't have to jump through all the hoops of connecting on your phone and typing your Wi-Fi password into Mela. You can just control it directly on your unit. So we've been working with a lot of beta testers, as you all know, especially Tony from FreshCap. He's been one of our biggest champions, and he's given us a ton of feedback about this control unit especially. So what did he have to say about this thing? So Tony from FreshCap and Aliyah from North Sport, and also Zach from Sport of Fork, they gave us uh, the same feedback saying that once they set their control up and got Mela's conditions where they wanted it, the mushrooms are really the feedback that they needed. It wasn't so much looking at the phone app. They could just look at their mushrooms and tell how they were doing, and they could trust that Mela was working as it said it was. All right, Steven, so I know a lot of people who are interested in Mela are also big DIYers, the do-it-yourself crew, and I know they like to tinker and mess with new technology, so why don't you Give us a hardware rundown. So inside this box, uh, we created a custom hat that goes on top of uh, basically an Arduino Nano. And then we wrote our own Arduino code that interfaces with this top hat. Uh, and on this top hat, you have a few encoders. So you can control your fresh air, your lights, and your humidity. And then we also gave you a switch to turn your lights on and off. Very cool, very simple. Super simple. But effective but effective, exactly. Very cool. So for this uh, more simplified control, we're still finalizing the form factor. Uh, and something super cool is for the Mela 1.5, we sent out this modular control. So in theory, if we wanted to test different controls, we would be able to do so. And so we are getting to do exactly that. We created this knob control, this more simple, basic control. Uh, we can send it out to our beta testers. They can hang it right on the back of their unit and they can test uh, how they like this functionality. So for the Mela 2.0 and the crowdfund, we're looking to integrate the controls into the top of the unit, and that way it'll be completely flush and all of your controls will be directly built in. So with these controls, all you gotta do is really just set it, walk away, and you got mushrooms in what, two weeks? Yeah, something like that. Mm, very cool. So with the launch of the Mela coming up very soon, the crowdfund is about to start incredibly soon. Um, is this module unit, is this the last piece of the puzzle as far as uh, hardware changes or new hardware, things like that? So we're still waiting to hear back from our beta testers. Uh, this was one of the improvements that they've told us about. We've also been getting some recommendations on cleaning the unit. Uh, so we want to make sure we address all of those concerns and we can produce the best unit that we can once the crowdfund completes. All right, well, thanks a lot, Steven. Appreciate you, as always. Uh, I know you got a lot of work to do before this thing launches, but I know you have it all under control.